Hello, this is Dirk, and today we're doing Introduction of the 10x10 10 10 Abacus. We'll talk about why this is important, but let's take a look at what we mean by a 10x10 10 10 Abacus. The critical thing is this is not the same as the Abacus used in Japan or China. This is a 10x10 10 10 Abacus, and if you look at it, <clears throat> it's delightful because you can use this to visualize counting by tens. Let's do it. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. It's really important <clears throat> for students to work up to counting bys. For instance, in visualization here, let's uh, show again. Counting by 10 is important because then they know that there's 100 here. But let's take a look at something like counting by 2s. Now what I'd like you to do when your kids are, or your students are starting is that they actually count silently, but then when they get to the counting by 2, they do the following. I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's count by threes. So you'd go three, six, nine, twelve, and so on. Now what's interesting about this is we've got the visualization of counting by threes there. You know, and we've got four sets of three, and that's equal to 12. Another fun thing to do is the give and take, or let's do out and in. Are you ready? And the way you keep this, okay, is to understand that whatever you move in, you've got to move out to have the same number. So let's do this. Are you ready? So we have three. Let's move... Seven in. So we got to move seven out. And if you notice, what do we have here? Is 12. And remember, we counted by threes and we were doing four times. Okay? It's kind of cool. Let's go back. One of the early things to do with students is to have them count this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and finally ten. Now what's really neat about this is they can visualize this growing. The whole idea here is to have them begin to think about the numbers rather than just recall. And one of the important ideas here is called number bonds. For instance, number bonds to 10. Look at this. We know, and hopefully by counting by 10s, we will know that there are 10 in each row. But look at this. What makes 10 is the question. 9 and 1. 8 and 2, 7 and 3, 6 and 4, 5 and 5, 4 and 6, 3 and 7, 2 and 8, 1 and 9. Isn't that cool? They can visualize what makes 10. And we know that that's really important in our, in our number system because doing 10s is something you will learn to do very quickly. Okay? Now... Our whole system is of the base 10. And the question I leave to you, or I'd like you to think about, which is better, to learn your number facts by thinking and visualizing, or by doing speed tests and flashcards? Let's do again, skip counting by 7. 7. 14, 21.
Now, what I like about the in and out is that you can say that, okay, we have three sevens. Now, let's look at this. By the way, we have 5, 10, and 15. And then 2, 4, and 6. 15 and 6 is the same thing as 15 and 5 plus 1 is 21. Isn't that cool? But there's another way to look at this. Let's play in and out. We're going to bring 3 in and bring 3 out. And then we're going to bring 3 more in and 3 out. That way we kept the same numbers over here on the left. Guess what? That's 21. And remember, we started with three sevens. It's really fun, okay, to deal with the issue of skip counting and giving and taking. All right. What's nice about skip counting is it also helps you learn to multiply, but let's look again at number bonds, okay? And I'm going to jump all the way to 100. Very clearly, if you wanted to hide half the abacus, you could do 50s. What I mean by that is, if you do this, now we're talking about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Well, what makes 50? Well, let's see. What's this? 12 and 10, 20, 30, 8. So 12 and 38 make 50. You can see that you can handle this right up to 100. Look at this. For instance, what makes 100? And this is really good game to play with kids. Let's do this. We got 30, 5. Okay, so we have 35 on the left. What do we have over here on the right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5. Well, guess what? 35 and 65 make 100. Let's do another one. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 2. And we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 48. Well, 48 and 52 make 100. Those are very important number bonds you will find out later. But you can do this with any number of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 100 by hiding certain rows. And that's really easy to do. Isn't that cool? Which way would you rather learn your number facts? Would you rather learn them by flashcards or thinking about them? Now, in both cases, you will learn your number facts. But if you learn them this way, you will remember them without a bunch of flashcard activity. Now, the flashcard activity is kind of fun after you've learned them. Interestingly enough, it really makes for a good situation. I want to show you one other thing. Okay, let's say we have, we're counting by nines. Okay, look at this. Well, we know that 9 is 10 minus 1. That's 1 times 9 is 9. 2 times 9 is 20 minus 2, which is 18. 3 times 9 is 30, because we know there's 30 about the whole thing, minus 3, which is 27. Think about how much fun that is to play that game. But again, we can do what? To find out what is 3 times 9, we can do give and take. Or we can do out and in. So we take an in and an out. We take another in and an out. So what is 3 times 9? It's 10, 20, 7. Isn't that cool? All right. When you learn to add, it's pretty straightforward. If you wanted to add 7 and 5, you could go 7, and then you could count 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And 7 and 5 is 12. I don't recommend this way. Let's do it.
Watch this. We're going to do 7 and 5. Now you notice, if you look at this, what you've got here is 5 and 5 is 10 and 2 is 12. That's one way. We're basically doing by 5 grouping. And if you look here, 7 plus 5 is 5 plus 5 and 2, which is 10 plus 2 is 12. Now, there's another way to do this, which I love, and that, again, is the give and take or the out and in. Let's take, put these in, three in, and three out. What's left? Well, we know it's got to be the same number, but if you notice, that's 10 and 2. So 7 and 5 is 12. Isn't that something else? I love the abacus. Now again, I want to point out that this is not the abacus that is used, and this is in, in Japan or China or other Asian countries. What this is, this isn't for speed. It's for thinking. Let's take a look at another one. Six plus six, you know, that's this and this. Well, there's two ways to do this, correct? There's five and five and two, right? So we have 6 plus 6 is 5 plus 5, plus 1 plus 1. 5 plus 5, 1 plus 1. So that's 10 plus 2, or 12. But I like the following. I really do like the in and out. We're going to do this. In and out. And guess what? That's 12. So what we have is 6 plus 6 is 12. Let's do 8 and 6. There's 8 and 6. Well, by now you know the two ways to do this. There's two 5s here. That's 10. And then you have a 4. So again, 8 plus 6 is the same thing as 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1. And that's 10 plus 4. And that's 14. But you know me by now. I really love to do in and out. Here we go. Into out to. And what do we have here? We have 14. So guess what? 8 plus 6 is 14. Isn't that fun? I love the abacus. And you will too. You can get this abacus. There's a lot of them. Make sure you get the 10, 10 by 10, not the standard Japanese soroban or the Chinese. And you also need to realize that you can give this to your son or daughter at age four and have them just play with it, make steps and do this and do that. Don't worry. It's not a hothouse. They begin to learn how to count. So congratulations. You've had your first lesson in the 10 by 10 abacus. Good to hear from you if you want to know more. Thank you.